Today we're going to look at a craft project that you can do while you're out in the woods. Stay tuned. To make this project, all you're going to need is number one, your knife. Number two, a set of gloves. Number three, a wire tent peg. And obviously, number four, a piece of wood. And lastly, a baton. First job, take the tent peg, we're going to place the non-hooked end, the pointy end, into our fire. <coughs> Next I'm going to need my knife, my baton and my piece of wood. Now my wood's halved, all I want to do is quarter it. So now what I'm going to do is going to I'm going to take my piece of quadrant, pick my best end, and then I'm going to shave this downwards so it's smooth. Only for about the top six to eight inches. So it looks like that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small cross which is going to be a stop cut from the top corners to the apex and across to the other side. And then I'm going to repeat the other way. Again, top corner, next I'm going to take my piece of wood, put it in the fire. And I've put it so it's face down, so the apex is gradually burning off and colouring in the fire. Not for too long. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut upwards towards my first V. So it should start to look like that. I'm now going to cut upwards again towards my second V. Now what I'm now going to do is shave upwards. This bit's going to form the owl's body.
Next, what I'm going to do is I want to put a stop cut in um, a couple of inches down from where that cross is on the apex. Needs to be quite a deep cut, so use your bat hammering hard. So we've put our stop cut in. We're going to shave up towards that shop, uh, stop cut and it needs to be fairly deep so we may have to batten again. So we've shaved up towards the stop cut to form this flat area. The next area we're going to work on is here, just above that V. And we're literally going to shave back from that point towards the top. You should end up with a black V. For our next cut, we're going to turn the work onto its side. We're going to put three small wedges. We're going to cut from just below where the ear is going to be, just where the eye is, and just where the tail meets the body. And there they are, just below the ear, just below the eye, and where the tail meets the body. What I'm then going to do is turn it over and do exactly the same on the other side. One below the ear, one below the cheek, one where the tail meets the body. There he is, our little owl is starting to take shape. So we've got this black V which forms the eyebrows and the tip of the beak. We've then got where the eyes are going to go, either side, the body, and finally the tail. Our next cut is we're going to shape where the ears are going to be. We're going to cut a V in the top. So now he's really starting to take shape. We've got the ears, the beak, the eye area, and the chest. For the next bit, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some tiny little curls up on the chest. So it looks like it's feathers on his chest. For this, I'm gonna use the very tip of my knife. There we've got random little feathers cut into the breast. Next thing I want to do is make some random cuts into the side, again to make it look like Here we feathers. are, we've got some small random cuts running down the side. Starting to look good. Next I'm just going to take him, just brown him a little bit in the fire. So it's nearly finished. For the next bit, I'm going to need my gloves. Remember our tent peg? What we're now going to do is use the tent peg to burn the eyes into our owl. So there he is with his eyes. The last thing we're going to do is we're just going to trim him off so that his tail is nicely rounded. There he is finished, our little owl. Nearly last thing I'm going to do is uh, 
I'll get a little bit of wood glue and glue in place a little twig so it looks like he's sitting on a, a branch probably put a little eyelet so that we can hang him up and there he is, just simple woodland down.